welcome back to the question answer discussion uh, and the first question for you is aspirin is chemically so before going to the question um, uh, let's know let's discuss about what is aspirin uh, given for so aspirin is a non steroidal anti inflammatory drug having multiple uses based on the different doses for example uh, aspirin can be used uh, uh, to reduce the pain uh, that's why it's an analgesic it can be given to reduce the temperature that's why it's an antipyretic drug it can be used to reduce the inflammation that's why it's an anti inflammatory drug given for uh, rheumatoid arthritis kind of condition also it has uh, the property to inhibit platelet aggregation that's why it is given uh, for a post stroke patient or and a post myocardial infarction patients now the question is what is this uh, aspirin chemically a choice acetyl salicylic acid b choice acetyl oxybenzoic acid c choice acetoxybenzoic acid d all of the above so before coming to the answer we should know the structure of aspirin so when you draw a benzene and a carboxyl group this is called as benzoic acid so in this benzoic acid if you attach a hydroxyl group at the second position or at the or at the ortho position this is called as a salicylic acid so now in the salicylic acid if you replace the hydrogen of the hydroxyl group by an acetyl group acetyl group is nothing but this CH3CO group okay so if you replace uh, the hydrogen of the salicylic acid by an acetyl group this is the acetyl group this the name of the drug is aspirin this compound is called as aspirin now so you, you can call it as acetyl salicylic acid so the answer could be a choice but if you look at the b choice it is acetyl oxybenzoic acid so if you take this group together that is acetyl group and this oxy group together that is acetyl oxy group together the remaining compound is just benzoic acid so we can we can also call it as acetyl oxy benzoic acid if you look at the third option acetoxy so if you remove this y and l from the acetyl and combine it with oxy it would, it would become acetoxy acetyl oxy is also called as acetoxy so this could be also called as acetoxy benzoic acid so either you can call it as acetyl salicylic acid or acetyl oxy benzoic acid or acetoxy benzoic acid so in that case the answer will be all of the above okay so hope you understood uh, to solve this question we'll meet with uh, another question in the next class thank you